Animals are not as dumb as people like to think. People disregard them and think of them as lesser than us or stupid. But truth be told, they are very observant, noticing things and understanding them far better than we ever can sometimes. These are 20 times pets saw things that their owners could not. Number 20, dog sees a ghost. We've all been there, if we've ever had a dog. You're winding down for the night and out of nowhere, your dog starts barking. You scan the room and listen closely, but find nothing. Are there ghosts? Or is your dog just enjoying some vocal exercise? Although it may seem like your pup can see spirits, there is usually a logical explanation behind the noise. Take Arlo, for instance. One moment he's fast asleep, the next he's wide awake and vocal. At that time, the house was dead silent. The person recording didn't realize what was captured on tape until they reviewed the footage later. Keep in mind, this isn't the first weird incident in their 100-year-old farmhouse. But it seems Arlo has now made contact with the spirit world. Even if you can't spot or hear anything to justify your dog's barking, it doesn't mean something isn't going on. Dogs perceive the world differently than humans do. Their senses, sight, smell, and hearing are attuned to different frequencies and stimuli. For example, dogs are more sensitive to high-pitched sounds than humans are, thanks to their hunting ancestry. Think of it as their ears tuning into the squeaks of a mouse. They can also pick up on sounds that are much fainter and at higher frequencies than human ears can detect. So, the next time your dog seems to be barking at nothing, remember that they might be hearing something you can't. Better hit like right now. Otherwise, a scary ghost dog might just show up to haunt you. Now it's time for the strange topic. When this family came home one day, they were shocked to discover that their pet dog Bruno had ripped the house to shreds, reducing it to a pretty bad state. They were horrified, but confused more than anything. He just wasn't that kind of dog. But upon their return home, he kept misbehaving, bringing their attention to a vent in the wall. Upon investigating, they found piles upon piles upon piles of drugs that were hidden from the previous owner. Bruno had torn the place up because he had seen or sensed that drugs were in the house and was urgently trying to find them. What a clever boy, huh? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag strange topic. Number 19, dog barks in the air after a funeral. Ever had your dog seemingly bark at thin air and thought maybe dogs really can talk to people? This dog kept staring and acting odd toward the same spot in the sky, especially after the owners passed away. Coincidence? There's a belief that dogs have a knack for sitting beside people who are sick or nearing the end of their life, sometimes for hours or even days. So can dogs sense? The answer is yes, sometimes. People often speculate that dogs have some kind of mystical ability to differentiate between good and bad forces or even see spirits. But the real explanation is a bit more grounded. Remember, a dog's nose is a powerhouse of smell. We've already discussed how incredible a dog's olfactory capabilities are. Their nose is about 40 times more sensitive than ours, which allows them to detect even subtle shifts in the body's chemistry. This acute sense of smell enables them to sense impending natural disasters, gas leaks, and other significant changes in the environment. So if you notice your dog paying extra attention to someone or another pet that's unwell or nearing the end, it's likely they've picked up on this through scent. You'll see your dog sniffing and maybe even licking the person or animal. This is a nurturing instinct. Your dog might also start barking or howling more than usual. It's their way of signaling that something's up. If you find your dog acting clingy or looking distressed, pay attention. They're probably onto something. Number 18, cat sees ghosts. Ever noticed an almost electric energy field around a cat? This video even shows what looks like static electricity surrounding one. This is extra creepy given that someone recently passed away in the apartment. The question of whether cats can see ghosts is a real interesting one. As we've seen, some believe cats have a natural ability to see beyond the ordinary world into the spirit realm, but there's plenty who claim this idea lacks scientific proof and is more rooted in folklore, science schmience. Either way, cats do seem to be in tune with things that we can't quite grasp. So 
Maybe it's less far-fetched to think they might see ghosts. Some points do give credit to the notion that cats could see ghostly things. First off, cats have excellent night vision. They have more light sensing cells in their eyes compared to humans. This makes them adept at seeing in low light conditions. Some people believe that the cover of night makes it easy to see ghosts. So cats might have an edge there. Additionally, cats have a third eyelid. This is a membrane that covers and protects their eyes. This unique feature has led people to speculate that cats might be capable of seeing things beyond human perception. So while the jury is still out, the idea that cats can see ghosts isn't completely out of the realm of possibility. Number 17. Can cats see ghosts? This cat has a particular routine. Every night at exactly 10 p.m., she wakes up, gazes at the ceiling, and starts yowling and acting as if something invisible is chasing her. One moment, she's staring intently. The next, she's racing around, hissing at stationary objects and panting. Then just as suddenly, she returns to her usual grooming spot and relaxes as if nothing happened. Take Babukin, a cat from Siberia, as another example. This little feline seems to find everything around her to be significant, even a fitness ball. She can see objects in the ultraviolet spectrum and appears to be chasing after orbs. The strange part? You can't see any bugs or flies during the recording. So there goes the easiest explanation out the window. Cats possess 24 vibrissae, or whiskers, that send signals to their barrel cortex, comparable to the visual cortex in humans. This enables cats to create a 3D map of their surroundings and detect air movements with their whiskers. In terms of color vision, cats aren't too different from humans. They can easily distinguish blues and greens, but reds and pinks pose a challenge. What sets them apart is their tapetum, which requires only one-sixth of the light humans need to see. This feature also enhances their night vision. And as we know, nighttime is when the spooks show up. Number 16. Dog sees a ghost. This dog is clearly spooked out by something near the fireplace. Rather than stick around to figure it out, the dog backs away and leaves. Could it be haunted by the spirit of an old chimney sweep? Who knows? Dogs often sense things that we humans can't easily explain, and this has led to plenty of speculation about dogs and the supernatural. Karen Anderson, a psychic, medium, and animal communicator based in Elk, Washington, firmly believes that dogs can communicate with the spirit world. According to her, dogs can definitely see spirits. Okay then. She also claims to communicate with both dogs and cats using telepathy, stating that the entities they see could be a person, an animal, or something non-human, like the angelic energies that are around. Some pets are more attuned to these spiritual energies, just like some people are. Each animal is unique in how they perceive the world around them. What's indisputable is that a dog's primary sense is its sense of smell, which extends to detecting scents and pheromones that are beyond human perception. Given their acute awareness of their environment, dogs might even detect rapid movements in a room that humans can't see. While you might dismiss such fast movements as just a mouse or bug darting by, if you're of the same mindset as Anderson, you could also interpret it as spiritual activity. Number 15, Psychic Parrot. Einstein was happily chatting and whistling when something suddenly grabbed his attention. He looked up. What did he see? Recently, Einstein had been mentioning Augie quite a bit. Augie, the adorable little coton de Tulliar who lived down the street and passed away a few years before. Could Einstein have caught a glimpse of Augie's friendly spirit? Oh my god! Einstein exclaimed as he kept looking up and calling out Augie's name. Until the 1980s, the academic consensus was that parrots were basically mimics, just repeating words without any real understanding. That began to change when Irene Pepperberg started working with an African gray parrot named Alex in 1977. Over two decades of training, Alex learned more than 200 words and proved that he could use language in a way that was both abstract and referential. For example, he knew the difference between present and absent and could correctly identify colors regardless of the shape of the colored item. Inspired by seeing Alex on TV, Aime Morgana started teaching her own young male African Grey named Nikisi how to talk in 1997. Initially focused on Nikisi's language abilities, Aime soon discovered that he would say things that seemed to reflect her own plans and thoughts. And since then, the idea of parrot telepathy 
has really caught on. Number 14, cat chasing a ghost. Imagine seeing the world from your pet's point of view. You'd probably spot stuff that usually flies under your radar. Recent studies show some animals like cats and dogs might be picking up on things we can't see. How? They're able to see UV light. We've known for ages, over 100 years, that certain bugs like bees can pick up ultraviolet light. Ronald Douglas, one of the folks behind this study, said they initially thought most mammals had eyes like ours that block UV light. But their research showed something different. When they looked at animal eyes after teeth and measured how much light made it through to the retina via the lens, they found out some critters' lenses let in UV rays too, meaning these guys could potentially perceive things in a whole new spectrum. What are these secret sights our pets could be enjoying without us? It ranges from special flower patterns guiding them towards sweet nectar sources or pea-stained landscapes hinting at nearby prey. <laughs> it all sounds pretty helpful if you ask me. Or a little gross, or both, whatever. Fun fact, thanks to this UV skill, reindeer have an upper hand spotting polar bears against snowy backdrops. A task not so easy for humans because polar bear fur doesn't bounce off any UV rays. So yeah, we may now consider adding reindeer along with hedgehogs, bats, ferrets, and okapis to our roster of cool creatures who possess this rad superpower. Number 13, ghost moves dog across floor. The internet is full of claims about encounters with the supernatural. People share their experiences, posting pictures, videos, and even audio clips of what they say are ghosts or other supernatural entities. Sure, some of these are clearly fake, and others are too unclear to make out, but there are those that seem quite authentic. Case in point, a video that surfaced on Reddit a while ago. A person posted this video in the r slash ghosts subreddit, a forum for discussions about supernatural phenomena. The video, said to be from a few years back, features the family dog, apparently named Tucker, getting moved across the floor by an unseen force. As the video starts, we see Tucker, a black dog, looking over his shoulder and wagging his tail slowly. Suddenly, he starts barking at the carpet as if something caught his attention. He continues barking in surprise and is then abruptly slid about half a meter across the floor. No visible force is acting on him that could explain this movement. Toward the end of the video, Tucker is seen pawing at the carpet and continuing to bark at whatever it was that moved him. The original poster also described another eerie incident. They caught sight of what they believed was a ghost from the corner of their eye around 3 a.m. Thinking it was their daughter, they went to check on her, only to find her sound asleep in the loft. Interestingly, a night after this encounter, the OP's husband also witnessed a similar phenomenon. He saw someone standing beside their bed while passing by the bedroom. Assuming it was his wife, he was shocked to hear her laughing on a phone call outside realizing then that whatever he saw was not her. Number 12, ghost emerged from haunted doll to chase cat. Kathy Gallinger, a mom who's pretty uneasy about her home's atmosphere, claims her house is so haunted that she's hesitant to venture into her basement alone. Why? She captured video footage of what appears to be a ghost emerging from an old doll and startling her cat. Since moving into her house in August, 2018, Kathy says she's experienced various unsettling supernatural events, such as objects moving by themselves and shadowy figures materializing out of thin air. However, what really took her by surprise was when a CCTV camera she set up in her basement captured a black mass emanating from her mother's vintage doll from the 1950s. She suspects it might be a ghost. The video shows Salem. Yeah, she called her cat Salem. So what was she expecting? her three-year-old cat visibly distressed and staring fixedly at the dolls. Then something resembling a black mist emerges from one of the dolls and drifts toward Salem, who quickly retreats. Accustomed to paranormal events shaking up her household, Kathy still refuses to go to the basement unaccompanied. Kathy says a psychic told her the odd happenings in her home might be connected to an event in the 1980s involving teens who possibly used a Ouija board there. Number 11. Real Ghost Disturbing Cats The video we see here was shot during a December vacation taken by the homeowner and her mom. When they returned, their cats seemed pretty agitated. 
sensing something was off, they reviewed their security footage as well as video from their friend who was house-sitting. Besides this eerie clip, nothing unusual was discovered. The video shows something entering one of the rooms, capturing the cat's attention. Following this, the door seemed to move on its own. Oddly enough, after capturing this footage, the camera shifted the focus on the wall and remained that way until the family returned the next night. Upon their return, they found books scattered on their floor and clumps of cat hair littering the hallway, usually signs of feline squabbles. But these particular cats aren't known for that. Could the house sitter have been a bit clumsy while cleaning? It's hard to say, but the cat's behavior seems to suggest something is amiss in the house. Whether it's malicious or not is unclear, but caution would be wise in this situation. Yikes. Number 10, dog spooked by a ghost in the water. Something weird's happening on the water and it's got this dog spooked. If you look closely at the end of the video and also in the first seven seconds on the left, it seems like there might be a body in the water. Could it be a drowning or something else? Perhaps this dog was seeing a ghost and wanted to rescue it. Water rescue dogs are highly trained to assist people in aquatic emergencies. These dogs are prepared for rigorous conditions and have a lot of experience under their belts. These life-saving dogs operate in environments like rivers and oceans. Their training includes swimming in varying currents and weather conditions to gear up for actual rescue scenarios. One of their skills is the ability to detect human scents in the water and follow them to locate the person in distress. The concept of water rescue dogs dates back to the late 19th century. In 1883, a Newfoundland named Jacko, trained by the Royal Humane Society, rescued two kids from an icy river. Number nine, cat sees ghosts. It's definitely unsettling when this happens in the middle of the night. Imagine your cat just staring at nothing for a good five minutes. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If you've ever been alone at home and found your cat's empty gaze a bit creepy, you're not alone. Cats do have their quirks and their body language often leaves us scratching our heads. Most cats have a go-to spot where they like to chill. You've probably noticed your feline friend staring intently at something, either as they're getting comfy for a nap or just watching the world go by. But what exactly captures their attention like that? Sometimes your cat might be spotting something really tiny that's not visible to you, like a bug. Or perhaps she's tuning into a particular smell or sound. Or a more concerning note, consistent intense staring could indicate issues with their nerves or even their eyes. So while it might give you the chills when your cat seems to see something you can't, we may not know for sure why they do it, but at least we've got some plausible explanations to consider. Number eight, dog sees a ghost. Dogs are cherished worldwide for their friendliness, loyalty, and affectionate nature. Often called man's best friend, dogs are more than meets the eye. They have a unique connection to the spiritual realm that many people may not experience. This could explain some of the odd behaviors you've noticed in your dog, perhaps early in the morning or around midnight. Dreaming about a dog can indicate a heightened spiritual awareness and might energize your soul. African hunters often take dogs on hunts, valuing their keen spiritual perception. The concept of spiritual possession suggests that any object potentially owned can communicate with the entity that possesses it, whether through visual or auditory means. In this sense, dogs are thought to be able to see and even communicate with spirits or ghosts. When dogs sense an increase in spiritual energy, they may start barking and could potentially perceive a spirit or ghost nearby. Number seven, Husky Puppy Barks at Ghosts. A little background, this footage dates back about four years when Key was not even a year old. He had a curious habit. He'd suddenly stare at the ceiling in various rooms, often appearing so uneasy that he'd want to exit the room. I couldn't see in the clip what caught his attention, but he barks at it. It seems he wasn't reacting to any sounds. His ears stay still which they wouldn't if he heard something. His nose also doesn't twitch, ruling out any sense. It seems like he was seeing something we can't. His owner never figured out what it was, and just as abruptly as he started, he'd stop. It was unsettling when glanced at the ceiling, unexpectedly, and then dashed out of the room. <laughs> the owner suspects it was diet-related. Around the time Key turned one, they switched him to a raw diet, 
That's when they noticed he stopped being scared of whatever he was seeing up there. Nothing else changed. He hasn't acted this way since, and he's almost five now. So what's your take? Do dogs see ghosts? Number six, a dog seeing a ghost. We can't see what the dog's seeing, but it's a good thing he's barking to keep the home secure. Milky is usually pretty chill around people and doesn't make a fuss when the doorbell rings. So if there is no window on that side of the house, it's definitely odd. If there is a window, it's likely he saw someone trying to break in. My dog is the same. Usually gives a single bark when someone's at the door, just to let us know. But if something's off, like an intruder, she gets into a different stance and barks loudly to scare them away. In Milky's case, the lifted paw, backing away, and wagging tail indicate uncertainty. A wagging tail isn't always a sign of friendliness. It can signal a range of emotions, including concern about an intruder, as some people have pointed out. Samoyeds are large yet graceful dogs. Known for their thick, white coats, they're well-suited for cold conditions. They're as functional as they are beautiful. Even their perpetual smile serves a purpose. Thanks to the upturned corners of their mouths, they don't drool, which helps to prevent icicles from forming on their face. What a neat trick. But they like to keep busy. A Samoyed left alone in the yard turns into a bored and destructive creature. They're intelligent, social, and uh, a bit mischievous. Number five, dog sees ghost. Towards the end of this video, a ball of light zips past the dog. It's evident the dog saw something out of the ordinary. Probably a friendly ghost, given the dog didn't look spooked, but rather curious and cautious. The dog gets off one couch, heads to the recliner, sniffs around, and then moves to another couch. That pretty much says, wait a minute, I gotta double check who or what's sitting there. On the flip side, it's also possible the dog is just seeing its own reflection on the TV screen. Dogs don't recognize themselves in mirrors, unlike humans and certain other animals. In fact, human babies don't even recognize the reflection they see is their own until they're about 18 to 24 months old. While they might be captivated by their own reflection, they usually think it's another baby and want to play. Animals like dolphins, gorillas, and orangutans do show this level of self-awareness when looking into mirrors. Dogs, on the other hand, haven't shown this ability. They either ignore their reflection or treat it as if it's another dog. Number four, Sparta plays with ghost. Check out this kitty known as Sparta. I love how his ears fold back when someone gets near him. Considering his paw hit the wall and it looked like Sparta was chasing something in between the steps, I'm guessing it was a tiny bug. Cats are natural hunters, after all. Some cats communicate with ghosts and spirits, period. If they're hissing at something invisible, it's unsettling. But if they purr and behave as though someone's petting them, even when no one's there, it's kind of neat. Depends on whether your ghost is cool and friendly or cranky, I guess. You know, ancient Egyptians actually considered cats to be divine. They believed these felines had a spiritual essence and magical abilities, a belief that still persists among some today. Egyptians were fascinated with afterlife and thought that cats could see and interact with ghosts and spirits, even navigating through the realm of the deceased some even thought that burying a cat alongside a pharaoh or another significant person would make their passage to the other side smoother. Cats were also credited with having a sixth sense, which was thought to assist witches in detecting ghosts. So if a cat seemed unusually scared while staring at a specific point, people believed a ghost was present. Number three, real ghost encounter. I really like how this dog stands at the door and gazes at its owner intently. It's as if he's asking, is this cool with you? But clearly there's something creeping going on here. The owner has got two tasks ahead right now. First, find a witch doctor. <laughs> Second, call a cleaning service because man, that room is in rough shape. So how can you know if your pet has seen something otherworldly? Say if all the local witch doctors, ghostbusters and exorcists are booked out. Well. They could be sitting quietly, but their eyes are frantically scanning the room, or they may suddenly rise and start sniffing around as if following something. It's super freaky, especially when you're the only human at home. Just you and whatever's unsettling your pet. Your pet might act as if there's another presence in the room or something else has their attention. Often it's just them being selectively deaf, but if they usually respond when you call them and now they don't, mm, it could be something odd. 
Maybe your dog suddenly rolls on its back as though someone is there to give it a belly rub, or your cat starts swatting at thin air. It's like they're reacting to an imaginary scenario, as if a familiar person just walked through the door. Number two, cat saw a spirit. There's a rich connection between cats and the mystical realm, and not just in stories about witches and their black cat companions. Do cats really have the ability to ward off ghosts and spirits? Historical beliefs suggest the answer is yes. The Blue Cross, a UK-based pet charity, reports that 43% of pet owners believe their pets guard them from spirits, and a quarter of cat owners say their felines hiss at seemingly empty spaces. Does that tell us something about cats? or about how much British people are into horror stories and the occult. It's not just Britain, though. In Japanese folklore, there's a concept known as kaibyo, or strange cat, that influences how people view these animals. Cats are considered lucky in Japanese culture and are believed to have a link to the spiritual world. Cats are usually quite protective of their families and have tight bonds with their owners. If a cat senses something potentially harmful, you might see them hiss, puff up their fur, or even growl to keep you safe. Even how close cats are to their humans, it's not a stretch to think they could also keep ghosts and spirits at bay. Cats have been esteemed as protectors for thousands of years across various cultures, which lends credence to the idea that they can keep their families safe from spooky goings on. Number one, ghost caught by dog. This dog owner decided to set up a camera overnight to figure out what his dog had been barking at for weeks. Let's check out the results. What do you make of it? At first, I wondered if someone might be lurking in the shadows to the right. But realistically, the dog would have probably ruined the whole sneaky setup by rushing over to play with the hidden person, unless it had some sort of military training. The idea that your home might be haunted by malevolent spirits comes to mind, especially if you consider how fixated the dog was on one specific spot. But hey, there's a silver lining. Your dog seems to be keeping them at bay. So yeah, whether you believe in folklore or lean more towards logic, your dog's behavior could be a helpful indicator if there's something otherworldly going on that you, as a human, might not be equipped to deal with 